And it's time for the long-awaited review of the Lecky Micro Trail Pro carbon fiber trekking poles. Now listen, this channel, and for everyone in high school or everyone in college, like believe it or not, there's a whole other genre of running that you might not even know about called ultra, ultra running, ultra marathons. We're talking everything from 50K, so 32 miles, all the way up to, yes, there's quite a few races now that go up to 200 miles, and even yet, you can even get into like, Nice six day races. It's crazy stuff. Well, in a lot of these races, you are actually required to carry trekking poles with you basically for safety. Like the biggest race in the world for as far as um, exposure and popularity in the ultra running world is a 140 kilometer race in France. It goes into France, uh, Italy, and I think dips into Switzerland as well. I think. Don't quote me on that. It's called UTMB Ultra, Ta ultra Trail du Mont Blanc, and you have to carry trekking poles in that race. But for me, I made a little mistake. I was training for a race last summer called Run Rabbit Run 100, and I did not read the rule books. In that race, it's a 100 mile race, you're not allowed to use trekking poles. So if you are interested in trail racing, ultra running, and you're, uh, yeah, you have to, basically, you gotta do your research because each race has different rules as far as whether or not you're allowed to use poles. Uh, and we're not gonna get into the topic of whether or not you should be using poles in this video, but I just want to say that I picked these up last summer and I love them. I love them. Basically, I had plantar fasciitis in 2018 and I think the only reason that I was able to attempt the 100 mile race, I didn't finish, but I attempted it, was because I was able to train with these poles. And so these shafts here, these carbon fiber shafts, uh, both of them together weigh 13.4 ounces. That is pretty incredible. Very lightweight. Like, you don't even feel them in your arms, basically. And they fold down, so what's also nice, they fold down to basically 14 inches, a little over 14 inches, so good for travel. However, I have heard you got to make sure you can get it through security, uh, unless you're okay with packing it under the airplane. And now Lecky sells these poles. Uh, you can't adjust the height, just so you know. You have to buy the correct height in advance based on how tall you are. So I went with the shortest because I'm not the tallest guy in the world. Uh, so it starts at 110 centimeters and I believe goes up to 135 centimeters for this particular pole. And this trekking pole is just so well engineered. I just don't even know like, okay, the cork. Let's start with the cork on the grip. Very, like even when you're in the middle of summer and it's hot out and you're sweating a lot in your palms, you still have like, I don't feel any slip at all even when this cork gets really wet from your sweat. And then moving from the cork up here to the top of the pole, oh my goodness, gotta be the, gotta be the best feature of the entire pole. It's the Lecky Trigger Shark a locking system where basically based on this this glove wraps around your hand and you just lock it in and then it's there in your hand and then what what happens then is it takes the pressure when you're when you're pushing up the mountain it takes the pressure off your wrist off your wrist so you're not putting a lot of torque on your wrist and it, it distributes that um, that that power through the entire arm rather than just on your wrist and then on the bottom of the poles, these, these carbide tips, no issue, like no issues at all. As far as, and I've gone over some pretty rocky terrain with these carbide tips, because I live in Colorado. Like we're talking, they are tough. And even the basket here is still holding up pretty darn well. Like, and this little teeny tiny basket on the bottom. So um, definitely made for dirt over, let's say snow, even though there's a good chance I'll be using this pole next weekend at the America's Uphill Race. And I will just say this, they help. They help a lot with going up hills. Now, okay, I wasn't gonna bring this up, but I think I will. I would recommend not training with poles if you don't have to. Now listen, sometimes you get into some crazy terrain that is really steep and you really do need poles to help you get up some of these trails and you want to keep that running motion. And I have a pretty strong upper body for my height 
And so I, that's why I was really excited to use the poles for the 100 mile race because my legs, they're strong, but at the end of the day, I don't have tree trunk legs. So I wanted to get a little help from my, bot, my upper body strength. And I would though, listen, we're runners, okay? So I think if you can, strive to train more so without the poles and then if you are in a 50k although you don't really use poles in 50ks too often it's more like 50 milers 100 milers for sure big big races then when you get to the starting line and you get the poles you're going to be feeling so strong in your lower in your lower legs that when you get the poles to push with your upper body it's just going to help a ton so i don't like to rely on them but they do serve a purpose at uh, a particular time in your training and your racing but just know as i already mentioned some races do not allow them and as far as my final thoughts oh and by the way keyword lecky can you spell it lecky uh that's the keyword thanks for hitting it up would i recommend this poll a hundred percent and listen i don't have a ton of experience with trekking poles but i've probably put 200 miles into this poll these poles and frankly I see like no wear and tear. Like they're just, I can tell the design and the build quality is there. Like I'm telling you, like no issues at all. Okay, maybe just a like a teeny tiny little dink in the cork there. That's it, that's it. So I would highly recommend. And the question of the day for this video, of course, has to be, have you ever used trekking poles? How was your experience, whether hiking or running, like, you know, mountain running, like it could be either. I'm just curious, and what was the brand or the model that you used? I'd be really interested to, to really learn more, because again, I don't use them very often right now because I'm not getting ready for a 100 mile race, thankfully. Um, I'm getting ready for a marathon, a road marathon, but I still think that on this channel, I know there's ladies and gentlemen out there that are getting ready for some big uh, ultra races in 2019. Believe it or not, it's it's March 1st when I'm recording this, so good news. That means summer is around the corner and you're gonna be hitting those trails. And you know, it's good to think about, okay, what is the, it's not too early to start thinking about what is the gear that I'm going to need for the, to be the best that I can be in these ultra races. Ha, oh, good times, good times in the shootio or the polio, no, God. <laughs> I love you. That wasn't funny. That wasn't funny. <laughs> Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Oh, Lecky. I don't know how to pronounce it. Lakey? Lakey? Maybe it's Lakey. Lakey. We'll call it Lakey. See you tomorrow.